Hello, this is Fiznar USA. And this is a short video on how to do a programming routine on a, on a desktop robot. Let's consider this robot in front of you, which is a small benchtop robot, our model F4200N. Uh, right out of the box, the robot is programmable with a teach pendant. Uh, as you can see here, it comes standard as a programming, basic programming tool for any robot that is received from us, from Fiznar. Now programming a pattern, so let's say you are finished hooking it up, you have all the controls here, to control the dispenser controller, you have the air, you have the power to it, and now you're ready to, dis to make the pattern. So let's say you have the pattern right over here. Okay. It's a simple pattern, you have a straight line going from here to here, and then it arcs up, uh, and then it goes to the right, and goes back down, and goes to the left, and then some three dots over there. Okay? Well, there's a basic tutorial on how to do this, um, this routine, this pattern, and hopefully you will know how to do it by the end of this tutorial. Okay? So the main thing with all other robots, um, we do the, the main thing with all robots is uh, to program them. You have to go to position, and then you have to define that position. So let's say uh, you want to go here and define this as a, line, a start of the line. With the 4000 series teach pendant, as you can see here, this is where the movement keys are. These are the movement keys. Now for each teach pendant that we have for each series robot, there are the movement keys are located in different sections of the teach pendant. So for this particular one, the movement keys are here, but they are always present in every teach pendant we have for every series robot. So the first thing you need to do is locate where the movement keys are, and once you locate them, you will be able to move the robot head. Okay, so as you can see here, if you want to look here real quick, because the shape is there. Okay, so as you can see, if I move the X, you will see the table move as well. Okay. Alright, and th those are the movement keys. Now there are three speeds to it. The first one is the slow, the second one is the medium, and the third one is the fast. In order to do that, there is a slow, which is press the movement key. That is a slow. You will see the X moving. Uh, very very slowly so I'm not sure if you can see it uh, during this video but it will move slowly alright and if you go and there's a medium speed where you press the movement key and the fast button in that order and that is the medium speed as you can see the table moving alright and then there's the fast speed where you press the fast first before the movement key okay and those are the three speeds and that is helpful to know that you have three speeds available in order to locate the, the point precisely within the, the pattern okay so this is a three axis machine as you can see the movement keys has uh, space for three axes you have the X the Y and the Z properly labeled if it's a four axis you will have a W plus and W minus or an R plus or R minus depending on uh, the convention for the teach pendant but for our sake, for our purposes, uh, for this uh, video, we uh, will be just be doing, we will be focusing on the X, Y, and Z. Alright? Okay, so as I've said before, in order to program the robot to a particular routine, you have to go to a position and then define that position. So let's say this is the screen of your teach pendant, as you can see. Okay? First thing you want to do is move to a certain point. So, I'm going to change the program number to start a new program. Let's say I want to go to this point and make it as a line start. Okay, so what I do is move the table and move the head to go there. Now, in order to do that, I have to move the, the table this way, the table this way, I have to move the tip down, and I have to, to move the tip forward. Okay, so in order to do that, I have to move the Y forward. Okay, I have to move the X to the left, and I have to move the Z down. Okay, and then this is where the three movement speeds are helpful. So this way, you will not hit the tip towards the part.
Okay, so let's say I'm there now. I'm at the line start. I'm going to label that as a line start. In order to do that, I press enter. And you will come up with the, the F1 menu. Or the point menu. The first thing that you should see there is a line start. Well, the second one is a line start. So you scroll down. Using the movement keys as arrow keys. Okay, as you can see the asterisk there is the currently highlighted part. You press enter to select line start. So when you hear, when you see the screen here, it automatically goes to the next line. But if you hit escape, you'll see that on the first line, you will see line start already programmed in there. And that is defined by that point that we moved into, and we define that as a line start. So that is the beginning on how to program the robot. All right. Now for the views, uh, on the teach panel, you have two views. You have the list view, like what you see here. And what you, if you press escape, this button, you have a detail view. And that's what it is. Now the detail view shows what the actual, uh, what other parameters for that point are. The current location as well, as you can see there. And the current position of the point. So right now, the current position of the tip is the same as where we programmed it, because we didn't move it yet. So that's where it is. Okay, so that is uh, for the line start. And then to scroll down the, the list, you have these two buttons here. Okay, and you can see it from here also, the address number. Okay, so for the screen, the address is the line address, which is uh, we are now number two. This is a program number, program number 28, and this is the current location of the tip. Okay, with respect to the robot uh, drivers, okay? All right, so we have started with the line start, and now we proceed with line, line passing, okay? And the same way we do it, we press the movement keys, so right now it's the same Y, it's the same height, the same Z. We only need to move the X this way, or the tip that way. So we're moving the X this way, to the left, and uh, as you can see the tip going into line passing. All right, once we get to position, we're gonna label that as a line passing. So we press enter, and we find line passing among the list. So we see line passing over there, number three. We can scroll down. Okay, we're gonna scroll down and press enter. Okay, so if uh, we, it now it goes to the next position, it's address three. Okay, so if we hit escape, we have a line start and a line passing. Okay, so let's say we want to verify the point that we uh, saved. We can scroll up to that. Okay, you can see the carrot there, the side view carrot, the, the greater than symbol. So let's say we want to check where the line start is. We select that, you can see there, and then we press the move button, you can see here. Alright, so when, once we press that, the tip will go to where we saved the line start. Alright, and then when we go to line passing, it goes to line passing. So we scroll down using these buttons and we press the move key to check where the position is actually located once we save the points. All right, so that's it for the tutorial. You will need to do a line passing every time there's a change in position. So let's say you want a straight line from here to here. You only need to define the two end points, which is the line start and line passing in this case. The points in between are automatically calculated by the robot and that provides us uh, a straight line from point to point. The only reason we have a line passing here is because we're changing position. We're doing an arc on this next step, so that's why there is a line passing there. So you don't need to add a couple a line passing in between the line if it's just a straight line. You just need to designate uh, the start and end points and then the robot automatically interpolates the points in between. Okay? So the next one is an arc. Okay, uh, you can see this is a teach pendant again. And the arc is, use, is uh, useful for, for making a pattern that is uh, circular. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle like this. It doesn't have to be oriented this way, which is mirror image on the X. It can be skewed to the right, to the left, to the Z. So it is very flexible. The only thing that you will need for an arc are two base points, which is a, on the, in this case is a line passing and the highest point of the arc, which is we will gonna label as an arc point. So as, a, as I've said again, uh, it doesn't have to be a perfect arc or a perfect half circle like this. An arc can be uh, an, an off arc, you know? Um, so you can have an arc point here and you can have an align passing at this point and that will still make the arc 
uh, as well. Okay, so we're gonna move again to that arc position. Uh, you see that we are, I am moving the tip using the movement keys, and right now I am at the arc position, as you can see there. And the same thing, we press enter. The screen goes to point menu. This is F1 menu, and we find arc point, which is number five, as you can see there. I go number five, and we press enter. All right, so you can see we are on list view. You have three items there, line start, line passing, our point, and that is how you program it. Now the rest is pretty straightforward. As I said before, the arc needs a line passing at the end and at the beginning, so we will do another line passing here. And we're gonna continue it with a rectangular pattern, line passing, line passing, and line end. As you can see, there is no break in between these two parts. You have from this direction to this direction, it's just a straight line, so we only need to define these two points at the end. And we have three dots as well. The same way of programming, you go into position and you label it as a dispense dot. Dispense dot is under the point menu also. If you press enter, dispense dot is number one. Okay. Now with these parameters, uh, with these functions, you have the line function and the arc, you can virtually do any pattern that you uh, need to do, uh, any combination of those. So this is, these are the basic patterns. And um, once you get to know, once you get to know them, uh, you will have a better understanding of how to do a very a complicated pattern going forward. Okay? Alright, so I have already uh, programmed this, uh, this pattern, and I will show it to you. Okay? So let's say you're done with the programming and you want to test how the program, how you programmed it. So you can run it. Why not? Right? So we're gonna, we're gonna run it. Okay, uh, as you can see, tip goes into position from point to point to point. Okay, and you can see that arc is doing uh, exactly what it is programmed. We have defined it in three points the start of the arc, the highest point of the arc, the end of the arc, and the rest is pretty straightforward. Uh, change of position here from this line passing to this line end. Okay, and that is just a straight line, as you can see over there. And then you have the dispense points. One, two, and then three. Okay, so pretty straightforward. I'm gonna dispense I'm gonna turn the dispenser on and just dispense material just so you can see it. And here we go. Okay, as you can see that is a blue material that we have. We are dispensing exactly as it is programmed. So making this pattern we had one, two seven points to do the pattern. Of course, if you have a more complicated part, it will be a lot of points uh, in between them. But that is the basic, and uh, from these basic points and definition of points, you will be able to generate your own pattern as needed, okay? Okay, and then we have dots. All right, there you go, and this is the pattern. As you can see, this pattern is actually also in the manual, so you can practice with that. And once you get the hang of it, it should be pretty straightforward. So again, just a recap, in order to move the robot, on the teach panel, there are movement keys, as you can see here. On the 4000 series robot, they're here. The main, the basic, basics of programming is you move to position and define it. In order to move it, you need the movement keys. Once you, get, once you get the robot to position, you define the position. And that's where you go to the point menu. You press enter, and you go to the point menu, which is the F1 menu. And all of the points, the point definitions are in there. You have the dispense dot, line start, line passing, circle, arc point, line end. And any combination of those will be, give you a pattern as, as you need it. Okay? All right, so that ends the tutorial for making a dispense pattern using the robot. The next step would be to add the parameters, like delays, timers, and all of that, uh, and, or dummy points and all of that, uh, to optimize the, the dispense material. Okay? And that would be next in the tutorial. Hopefully uh, this is helpful for you. This is Fiznar USA. Thanks.